Bahamas economy is one of the most dynamic of the Americas. With a government committed to promoting financial, social and commercial policies oriented to open new markets through free trade agreements and special bilateral agreements. We have helped guide our country to gain bigger and better markets for our export products. We also promote Panama's many assets and increase foreign investments to fuel the growth of this major player in world commerce. Transparent government, judicial security for investments, economic stability, developing human resources, signing free trade agreements and joining with private companies to help the needy are all part of the government's agenda to promote growth and wealth. This is being done by signing free trade agreements with countries such as Chile, Singapore, Taiwan, El Salvador, the United States and our current negotiations with Central America. We are also becoming an important gateway for new business ventures that use Panama as a production site and redistribution hub to connect the North and South America markets to the world. Already, many new ventures have taken advantage of our geographic position, fiscal incentives, and friendly business programs that are perfect complement to the Panama Canal Logistics Hub. The canal in itself represents the bulk of Panama's economic growth, serving 120 maritime routes in over 80 countries. The major shipping companies of the world use the canal and thus make it an indispensable tool of world trade. A recently approved referendum cleared the way for the expansion and modernization of the waterway, a huge mega project with far reaching economic repercussions for the future of the country. Today, however, Panama is much more than a waterway. It is a logistics hub that can offer access to cargo and passengers and supports the growth of trade, services, manufacturing and tourism activities for the world market. The Cologne Free Zone is the largest in the Americas and a major center for storage and redistribution of containers and merchandise. Close to $12 billion in trade is made here every year. There are over 2,700 companies operating in the Cologne Free Zone, representing the finest and most recognizable brands from around the world. The newly refurbished Interoceanic Railway has an installed capacity to transport up to 500,000 TEUs a year, making the transit from one ocean to the other in less than an hour. Our international airport, which is currently in the process of a $70 million upgrading and renovation program. It has become one of the most modern airports in Latin America, increasing convenience and services to passengers traveling to Panama or transiting through it. The airport can accommodate all types of aircraft, from small private planes to long-haul airliners. It is used by several international airlines as a hub. Copa Airlines, the private Panamanian flag fleet, has also taken advantage of our location at the heart of the continent and created the Hub of the Americas, serving over 36 destinations in 21 countries with one of the newest and most modern aircraft fleets of the Americas. Our prestigious International Financial Center is another advantage offered to companies investing in Panama. Over 70 international banks make our banking center one of the pillars of the Panamanian economy.
Using the U.S. dollar as the local legal tender has given security and stability to the country and has kept the rate of inflation under 2% in the last 40 years. Ready cash reserves of over $40 billion fuel local and international businesses. Panama City's skyline has been transformed in the past 30 years by these banks and the real estate projects they finance. Some of the tallest buildings in Latin America are being built right now, adding to Panama's already amazing skyline dotted with skyscrapers. New hospitals and American trained physicians have made Panama a leader in healthcare throughout the region. Many foreigners and U.S. citizens come to receive quality care in our medical centers affiliated with prestigious U.S. hospitals like Johns Hopkins and Baptist Hospital at affordable prices. Telecommunications have put Panama on the map thanks in part to the five fiber optic cable main lines that cross the isthmus to and from Asia, Europe, North and South America, giving Panama excellent communications. Operators and providers such as Cable and Wireless, Telefonica, Call centers and data warehousing installations like Cytel, National Asset Recovery Services, and Client Logic, to name a few, serve global markets providing state-of-the-art telecommunication services. All these advantages attracted many international conglomerates like DHL, Dell, Scotiabank, Panasonic, Samsung Electronics, HSBC. American Life Insurance Company, Maersk, among many others that have their headquarters here. Recently, Panama has been discovered by U.S., European and Canadian baby boomers that are retiring here and buying up real estate to build homes and businesses. No wonder International Living Magazine has rated Panama number one to retire for its quality of life, security, health services, and value for your money. Our unspoiled natural environment and warm tropical climate has become another reason for these retirees to unleash a vertible land rush in the past few years as many new commercial and residential projects are being built all over the isthmus. Top it all, our tourism sector is poised now to become a major player in this bustling economy as the most prestigious hotel chains of the world are already here and are planning more projects in the far off reaches of our amazing natural environment. The Smithsonian Institution and Audubon Society praise Panama as a treasure trove of wildlife. Our reefs and forests are some of the best preserved in the world and are now being discovered by millions of tourists and investors. Panama has become much, much more than a canal.